Hello, friends. I am Dr. Harvinder Singh, creator of Psychiatry Education Forum Academy and RCME Academy. The following short video is actually one of the chapter in our Psychiatry Education Forum Academy. And this is also a part of a CME course in our CME Academy where you can get CME credits for. So let's start this video. Uh, but if you're interested in learning more about our Academy and CME Academy, I will see you at the end of this video. Let's start the session today. How to dose this medication? So it mainly comes in three doses. It's a patch, right? Transdermal selagiline is a patch, not a pill. So let's understand the little bit more basics of how to use this clinically in your daily practice. The other commonly used name, generic name is the AMSAM for transdermal selagiline. That's what we know this commonly as. So three doses are six, nine, and 12 milligram patches. Each patch is the 24 hour duration. So every, uh, every day you have to remove the patch, but the starting dose is six milligram, 24 hour patch. This is the lowest you start with. And then uh, if response is not seen in two weeks, you can increase that to the next dose of nine milligram. And you can um, continue moving forward, but keep an eye on the fact that nine is the max dose for elderly, but for age less than 60, you can go beyond that every two weekly to reach the max dose of 12 milligram per 24 hour patch. Although I have not mentioned here, but with the liver and kidney impairment, no dosage adjustment is needed like more specifically for liver impairment, like especially for mild and moderate, no dosage adjustment is needed, but there were no studies, no data for the severe liver impairment. And for renal, actually, they say for mild, moderate or severe, no dosage adjustment is needed. But in elderly, that's, uh, you know, ideally nine is the highest dose. Um, but most people target for six in elderly. Now, a little bit more on the application instruction with the patch. First, you try your best to apply at the same time of the day if possible to maintain the consistency. And it should be applied to a dry, intact skin and you should rotate the sites frequently. Now, this is really important rotation part, and we'll talk about side effects. But the most common side effect uh, they found in study is the application site reaction. So to avoid that, you rotate this frequently. And these are the common sites that they recommend. First is the upper torso between your neck and above waist. Second is the upper thighs. And third is the outer surface of your upper arm to maintain any issues with the patch getting removed. So these are like few things you need to keep an eye on that. And obviously patients should wash their hand before and after at each patch application. Thank you for watching that video. And I hope you found it clinically relevant. So let me spend a few seconds talking about our Academy membership. So um, this Academy membership, Psychiatry Education Forum Academy membership was initially created by me to keep myself updated of essential and must know psychiatry facts so that I can uh, do my patient care more effectively. But then I realized the benefit of this for every other busy medical professionals. And that is what resulted in birth of Psychiatry Education Forum Academy membership. This membership has a very simple goal to keep busy medical professionals updated of important clinically relevant psychiatry topics so that you can provide a best care for your patients. That is the simple goal of Academy membership I will recommend go to psychiatryeducationforum.com and learn more. 
I started this few years ago, and now we have 470 plus clinical chapters in this academy. We do journal club discussions. We have clinical case discussions. We have a closed Facebook group so that you can discuss your questions and cases more effectively. And on top of that, now we have CME Academy. CME Academy is separate from Academy membership, but Academy members get discounted access to the CME courses. So CME Academy is a chapters from Academy, but you get CME credits for those. Uh, I will recommend go to psychiatryeducationforum.com and learn more. And if you have any questions about Academy membership, about CME Academy, go to contact us button on top or send me an email at hsing at psychiatryeducationforum.com and I will reply back personally. But till then, friends, you all take care. I will see you in our next clinically relevant video discussion. You take care now. Bye. <music>